the prospect of a weapon that could identify, select, and attack a target without any human involvement terrifies me. While some technological advances may benefit humanity, autonomous weapons will not. They are, after all, designed specifically to cause harm. In effect, substituting human decisions about life and death with sensor software and machine processes. There really should be no question about autonomous weapons. When it comes to the, to the, to the decision to end a person's life, we cannot allow some lines of code to take that humanity away from us. This is about human dignity. It's about human rights, first and foremost, the right to life. Um, but it's also about human agency. We have the power to do something about this. International humanitarian law gives us an excellent legal grounding for the laws of armed conflict. But there are serious doubts about whether a robotic system could ever comply with its basic requirements such as discriminating between a combatant and a civilian, recognising when a combatant is surrendering or injured, and considering proportionality. The process by which autonomous weapon systems function uh, brings risks of harm for those affected by armed conflict, both civilians and combatants, as well as dangers of conflict escalation. What are we going to do about it? Uh, in the view of Human Rights Watch, the only acceptable answer here is to negotiate new international law uh, to prohibit autonomous weapon systems. Considering the speed of development and autonomous weapon systems, technology and use, it's critical that internationally agreed limits be established as soon as possible. I urge all of you to do whatever you can to support the development of principled and sound government policy on this. A national strategy that leads to international engagement on autonomous weapons is critical because we have both an opportunity and an imperative to ensure that killer robots stay in the fiction part of science fiction.